Hello, my name is Candace Zacharia, and I am an aspiring full-time blogger and a user of Brainwork. And so in today's video, I thought that I could invite you along as I share my workflow with you and also introduce how I'm using the new Nova AI blogging assistant in my workflow. So I'm going to share my screen with you. As you can see here, there is a, a left panel where it has new chat. Anytime you start a chat and you want to start something new, you can click there. We have what's called a smart web navigator, which when it is toggled on, will allow you to connect to the internet, to the web, and get results that are in real time, okay? So one thing to note is the Smart Web Navigator is only available for those on the Grow or the Pro plan. So if you're on one of the legacy plans and have not upgraded, be sure to do that because you don't want to miss out on using the Smart Web Navigator, which I will demo in just a moment. Then some other things here that are important to note we have the chat history. So if you've been in here before, you can look at some of the things that you and Nova have been talking about. And then some favorite prompts. So maybe you've used it and some things you want to save for later. And then suggested prompts. Now, if this is your first time using Nova, then you will need to use the suggested prompts. And you can always do customized prompts here when you write your message. So I'm going to actually just warm Nova up a little bit. I want to know if Nova is ready to assist me today. This is not necessary, but if you want to build a relationship, this is something you can do. Nova says they're dedicated to help me with my blog writing. And so let's get started. I know that today I want to write about freelance blog writing. So we're going to use some of these prompts here to help get us started. What you'll notice is we have the Smart Web Navigator off, and I'm going to use one of these prompts that works just fine with the Smart Web Navigator off, and then we're going to do it with it on so you can see the difference of the results, okay? So because I know... Essentially, what I want to write about, I'm going to use this prompt. Could you suggest related keywords for, and then I'm going to put in my idea. The reason you may want to do this is because you generally know what you want to write about, but you may want to refine which keyword you use. Now, this is with the Smart Web Navigator off, and we are going to get a list of keywords that we can consider for our blog posts, okay? these are pretty good. All right, now let's ramp it up. Let's turn on the Smart Web Navigator and let's do the same prompt to ask and let's see what our results will be. You will notice that these results will be different because we are connected to the web. And so we will get some data that is specific and that will help us to make an informed decision about which keyword will be best for us to move forward with. So I started off by asking about freelance blog writing and here's other related keywords that Nova gave us. Okay. So I noticed that our keyword came back, which is good. That means that it's being searched. And then here are some related ones. Now, for me, I want to use this information to decide, do I want to write about freelance blog writing, or do I want to write about one of the related keywords? Based off of this information, I actually want to go with freelance blog writing jobs because it has medium difficulty. It gets a few more searches than my original, and there's a lot of people searching for it. So we are going to move from freelance blog writing to freelance blog writing jobs, which is a more specific long tail keyword that will help us to get traffic to our blog. We're still on the smart web navigator and we have data that has helped us to decide what we want to write about. Now, one other thing that I'm curious about is what are some of the other pages on the web that are getting hits for this keyword? So I'm going to use another prompt here 
get the highest ranking search results for the keyword. And we're going to put this in. Remember, we're now doing freelance blog writing jobs and we're going to get our results. We're still connected to the Smart Web Navigator. And as you can see, there are some results here. Now, if I were to take freelance blog writing jobs and put it into the Google search here, our results should be about the same. We have Upwork, Indeed, LinkedIn for the first three. So let's go over here. Upwork, Indeed, and then it shows Zip Recruiter and LinkedIn. Then let's just look at the next few. Smart Blogger, Simply Hire, Pro Blogger. Let's see. Smart Blogger, Pro Blogger. So it is taking information from the search engine results page and giving it to us right here in our chat. So this helps us to know who's ranking for this. Now, there are some hard hitters here, but I noticed that there are some bloggers. So there's smart blogger, there's pro blogger, there's making a living writing. I am not familiar with this particular blogger. And so what I would like to know is which keywords are driving traffic to this URL. So I'm going to use this prompt. I'll simply click on it. So let's right click and get the link address and paste it there. Perfect. And we're going to see what Nova says. And because again, we're connected directly to the web, we will get information that will help us to see this blogger is ranking for these keywords. Maybe we should look at these keywords and see if we can compete with them. So here are a few. We have freelance writer websites. They're position number one. This is how much search volume they're getting. Lots of detailed information here. Okay. I am still convinced that I want to write about this same keyword. Remember, we are doing freelance blog writing jobs as our keyword. So I'm just going to copy that so I don't have to type it out again. And we are going to go ahead and move forward with our blog outline. So once I'm convinced and you're convinced of what you want to write about, this prompt is going to help us to move forward expeditiously, okay? So write a blog outline for me about, we are going to put in the keyword, what I absolutely love about Nova, the AI blogging assistant, is that these outlines are just De so detailed. I've never seen anything so on point. Here we are. We have a very detailed outline that gives us some points to consider when we write our introduction. And then we have the first headline and then the subtopics there. Awesome. Awesome. And then we have our second. Okay. So as you can see, if you keep moving down, you'll have your headings and then your subheadings. And then even down here, there's some points to consider as we write the conclusion and all those good things. So I like it. I love it. I'm going to move forward with it. So what we're going to do is use this right post button. We're going to click on that. And it asks us to enter our keyword, which is freelance blog writing jobs. And we are going to create our blog post. Now, when we click this, it's going to take us over to the editor, which is where we can actually do the writing and the formatting and use the traditional assistant. We're going to just click to get out of that. And here it is. Here is our outline. Okay. We can see all the information there. And it gave us a title, right? So the ultimate guide to finding and succeeding in freelance blog writing. Now, let's say, for example, you just fill in the title. We can go over here and use the assistant. If you're not familiar with the assistant, it is right here. You can toggle it on and off. And the assistant helps us to just do a lot of different tasks that we need to be assured are happening as we are writing a blog post. For now, we're going to use some of the assistant and then some of Nova. So we're going to 
not use intro and outline. We have that. We're going to go right here to the title and let's just see if it will generate some other titles for us to consider because I'm not feeling that one. So, all right, so here we go. Unleash your creativity and earn big bucks. The hottest freelance blog writing jobs reveal. Calling all wordsmiths. Discover the secret to landing lucrative freelance blogging gigs. Work from anywhere and make money writing blogs. The freelancer's dream job. I try to like this one. So when you want to insert it directly, just click the plus and it takes you right over there. And if you want to do any edits, you just click in there and type delete whatever you need to do. And since we created our title from the assistant, we're going to take this off and we need to create an introduction. So there are two ways that we can do that. We can create an introduction the traditional way, which is by using the assistant here where we can instruct it to output a short generated text or medium or large, what we're going to do is highlight this first one and use the paragraph to allow the AI to write a paragraph based off of the first bullet point, okay? So it's short, it is on point with the topic, and we can come in here and edit it if we like, or we can use chat like we were using before. So how would we move from the assistant to what we were using before? It's very simple. We'll go over here. Instead of toggling the assistant, we're going to toggle chat, okay? So here we are. This looks very familiar, right? So if you want to start a new chat, you have the option here. If you want to use the suggested prompts, we could do that here. Then we have favorite prompts if you have anything saved. We have chat history. So anything that you and Nova were talking about before, you can find it here. So let's use this one. We're going to just pop this in here. Anytime you want to see your previous history, you can just click on it. And if you want to continue to be connected to the Smart Web Navigator, you can toggle this on and you can certainly work with it off. We've already talked about the benefits of that. And as you're using the chat, if you want to refer to the editor, you got to have this on and this is going to help so much because it keeps you from having to write too much to prompt the assistant. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We have our chat set up. We have our introduction partially done. And what we need to do is finish the introduction. So this is a prompt that I came up with that has been helpful for me. And you'll see here, it says, please write the section. And I put heading title based on the blog outline in the editor. And so we want to write the introduction. So I'm going to ask it to write. And let's see what Nova does for us. Nova has given us the introduction. And it looks like, yes, one of the primary advantages, which is answering this particular bullet point. Awesome. And this introduction here, if I love it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this out and we are going to insert it by simply clicking insert in editor. And there you go. We have an introduction. Now, so let's say I want to shorten it a little bit. We're going to take out this one. And there we go. We are going to go into one of the headings, okay? So we have understanding the freelance blog writing landscape. We're going to turn this into an H2 simply by highlighting it, clicking on H2. And if you wanted, you could do that for all of your H2s, just so you have a clearer picture of what you're working with. All right. But for the sake of time, we're just going to continue and do this next section with understanding the freelance blog writing landscape. We're going to use the same prompt that I came up with before that has been helpful. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to take the heading to let Nova know that I would love for it to write a section based off of the outline. 
that we have. And the reason why we can do that is because we have told it to look in the editor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and you know what? We're going to turn off the Smart Web Navigator. We don't necessarily need it. So we're going to turn it off and it will still do the same. So let's see what Nova has for us. Once it is generated, we are going to simply just do a quick check, make sure that it stayed on topic, which every time that I've done this, it has worked very well. I'm so impressed. So look, it has given us a little intro for that section. I see A, exploring the different types. And then we have B, identifying the skills. Okay, so guess what I'm going to do? Once again, I'm going to delete that and insert this by clicking the plus and it is in there all i have to do now is format it since these are now h3s so these are subheadings under our h2 heading we can format it just like of course i'm not going to do that for every single part of this blog post but as you can see if you want to create blog posts in no time, you can do that with brain work. And like you did your introduction, you could do your conclusion and you will have a full blog post that is ready for you to edit, add your own voice to whatever you like to do. And there you go. I mean, can you imagine being able to do at least a blog post today or three times a week? it will cut down your time so much to use brain work. So I just want to encourage you, if you really want to take blogging seriously, as much as I have struggled with taking it seriously, I'm on board. I'm excited about what brain work is doing. And I want to thank the brain work team for everything. And thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Take care. Bye-bye.